Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today, in this video, I would like to introduce how to create your own portable monitor within several minutes. At first, I will show you how the portable monitor can connect to your smartphone. Just use the Type-C cable to connect the smartphone to the monitor. At first, I will introduce you the Portable Monitor Controller Ball. The controller PCBA includes two parts. One is the controller ball and the other one is the, the keypad and the 3.5mm audio jack. And another very important part is the LCD display. Here I will go to show how to create this portable monitor within just three minutes. You can see there, there are three interfaces on this control board. The middle interface is the EPD LCD display interface. The right interface is the interface to connect to the keypad board. At first, I will connect the EPD display interface. Now insert the cable into the display. It's very easy to insert the cable into the interface and make sure the connection is stable enough. Now the connection between this LCD and the motherboard is finished. The control board support red and white speakers. Now insert the speaker cable into the speaker interface. Now the installation is finished. Do you think it is easy or difficult to install this portable monitor? Of course it's very easy. Just a few steps to finish the installation. The next step I will try to test whether this portable monitor motherboard can work normally. At first, I, I would like to use my smartphone. My smartphone has a full Type-C video and audio function. This smartphone has proved its function in the beginning video. Now I will just connect the smartphone to the portable monitor with the Type-C cable. Okay, you can see the portable monitor, mo monitor Control boards working normally. We can see that the screen on the smartphone can also display on the portable monitor. The audio is also come out from the two speakers. This video has shown how easy to install a portable monitor. For more information about this solution, please please visit our funnyintel.com. Website.